Hey, India now has its very own GPS. Prime Minister Modi saying we can now help out our neighbours with this technology as well. So, PS1 ignited, so, PS1 ignited safely from Exactly at 12.50 on a hot, hot afternoon in Sri Harikota, in its 35th launch, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle successfully lifted off with the seventh and the last of India's navigation satellites. A known space buff, Prime Minister Narendra Modi monitored the full launch from his office in South Block, naming the system NAVIC as a tribute to India's legendary boatmen while making a rare offer to India's neighbours. Make in India, made in India, made for Indian. ये सपना साकार किया है. अब भारत भी अगर वो चाहते हैं तो ये सेवा उनको उपलब्ध करा सकता है. ये हमारा अपना नाविक होगा. हमारे मोबाइल फोन में हमारा नाविक होगा. Smiles and handshakes in the control room. Now all seven satellites are in orbit. And today's satellite will take a few months to stabilize, after which the system will become operational. It has been made at a cost of 1400 crore rupees. It provides a satellite based navigation system as an alternative to the omnipresent American GPS. ISRO says the Indian signal offers less than 20 meter accuracy and is already available on compatible smartphones. Indian armed forces will get a fail-safe way to accurately target weapons. The Indian system has a regional footprint around India. India becomes the third country after USA and Russia to have a satellite-based navigation system available over the Indian subcontinent. The Europeans and the Chinese system are still under construction. ISRO started late but forged right ahead to give the country a state-of-the-art alternative to the American GPS. In New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.